1 Chronicles chapter 26 verses 12 through 32. Among these were the divisions of the porters, even among the chief men, having wards one against another, to minister in the house of the Lord. And they cast lots, as well the small as the great, according to the house of their fathers, for every gate. And the lot eastward fell to Shelemiah. Then for Zechariah his son, a wise counselor, they cast lots, and his lot came out northward. To Obedim southward, and to his sons the house of Asuppim. To Shupim and Hosea the lot came forth westward, with the gate Shalaketh, by the causeway of the going up, ward against ward. Eastward were six Levites, northward four a day, southward four a day, and toward Asuppim two and two. At Parbar westward, four at the causeway, and two at Parbar. These are the divisions of the porters among the sons of Kor, and among the sons of Merari. And of the Levites, Ahijah was over the treasures of the house of God, and over the treasures of the dedicated things. As concerning the sons of Laden, the sons of the Gershonite Laden, chief fathers, even of Laden the Gershonite, were Jehili. The sons of Jehili, Zetham, and Joel his brother, which were over the treasures of the house of the Lord. Of the Amramites, and the Isherites, the Hebronites, and the Azelites. And Shabul the son of Gershom, the son of Moses, was ruler of the treasures. And his brethren by Eliezer, Rehabiah his son, and Jeshaiah his son, and Joram his son, and Zitri his son, and Shelemith his son. Which Shelemith and his brethren were over all the treasures of the dedicated things, which David the king, and the chief fathers, the captains over thousands and hundreds, and the captains of the host, had dedicated. Out of the spoils won in battles did they dedicate to maintain the house of the Lord, and all that Samuel the seer, and Saul the son of Kish, and Abner the son of Ner, and Joab the son of Zeruiah, had dedicated, and whosoever had dedicated anything, it was under the hand of Shelemith, and of his brethren. Of the Israelites, Kenaniah and his sons were for the outward business over Israel, for officers and judges. And of the Hebronites, Hashabiah and his brethren, men of valor, a thousand and seven hundred, were officers among them of Israel on this side Jordan westward in all the business of the Lord, and in the service of the king. Among the Hebronites was Jerijah the chief, even among the Hebronites, according to the generations of his fathers. In the fortieth year of the reign of David they were sought for, and there were found among them mighty men of valor at Jazer of Gilead. And his brethren, men of valor, were two thousand and seven hundred chief fathers, whom King David made rulers over the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, for every matter pertaining to God, and affairs of the king. 1 Chronicles chapter 27. Now the children of Israel after their number, to wit, the chief fathers and captains of thousands and hundreds, and their officers that served the king in any matter of the courses, which came in and went out month by month throughout all the months of the year, of every course were twenty and four thousand. Over the first course for the first month was Jashabim the son of Zabdiel, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. Of the children of Perez was the chief of all the captains of the host for the first month. And over the course of the second month was Dodai and Ahide, and of his course was Mikloth also the ruler, in his course likewise were twenty and four thousand. The third captain of the host for the third month was Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, a chief priest, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. This is that Benaiah, who was mighty among the thirty, and above the thirty, and in his course was Amizabad his son. The fourth captain for the fourth month was Asahel the brother of Joab, and Zebediah his son after him, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The fifth captain for the fifth month was Shamath the Israelite, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The sixth captain for the sixth month was Ira the son of Ekesh the Tekoite, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The seventh captain for the seventh month was Heels the Pelonite, of the children of Ephraim, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The eighth captain for the eighth month was Sibachai the Hushathite, of the Tsarites, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The ninth captain for the ninth month was Abizer the Anatothite, of the Benjamites, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The tenth captain for the tenth month was Maharai the Natophathite, of the Tsarites, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The eleventh captain for the eleventh month was Benaiah the Parathonite, of the children of Ephraim, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The twelfth captain for the twelfth month was Heldai the Natophathite, of Othniel, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. Furthermore over the tribes of Israel, the ruler of the Reubenites was Eliezer the son of Zitri, of the Simeonites, 
Shephatiah the son of Maka. Of the Levites, Hashabiah the son of Kemuel, of the Aaronites, Zidok. Of Judah, Eli who, one of the brethren of David, of Issachar, Omri the son of Michael. Of Zebulun, Ishmaiah the son of Obadiah, of Naphtali, Jeremoth the son of Azrael. Of the children of Ephraim, Hoshea the son of Azaziah, of the half-tribe of Manasseh, Joel the son of Padiah. Of the half-tribe of Manasseh in Gilead, Edo the son of Zechariah, of Benjamin, Hasiel the son of Abner. Of Dan, Azareel the son of Jeroham. These were the princes of the tribes of Israel. But David took not the number of them from twenty years old and under, because the Lord had said he would increase Israel like to the stars of the heavens. Joab the son of Zeruiah began to number, but he finished not, because there fell wrath for it against Israel, neither was the number put in the account of the chronicles of King David. And over the king's treasures was Asmaveth the son of Adiel, and over the storehouses in the fields, in the cities, and in the villages, and in the castles, was Jehonathan the son of Uzziah. And over them that did the work of the field for tillage of the ground was Ezri the son of Chelub. And over the vineyards was Shimei the Ramathite, over the increase of the vineyards for the wine cellars was Zabdi the Shifmite. And over the olive trees and the sycamore trees that were in the low plains was Balan and the Gedarite, and over the cellars of oil was Joash. And over the herds that fed in Sharon was Shatri the Sharonite, and over the herds that were in the valleys was Shaphat the son of Adlai. Over the camels also was Obal the Ishmaelite, and over the asses was Judea the Moronathite. And over the flocks was Jaziz the Hagarite, all these were the rulers of the substance which was King David's. Also Jonathan David's uncle was a counsellor, a wise man, and a scribe, and Yehiel the son of Hachmani was with the king's sons, and Ahithophel was the king's counsellor, and Hushai the archite was the king's companion, and after Ahithophel was Jehoiada the son of Benaiah, and Abiathar, and the general of the king's army was Joab. Romans chapter 4 verses 13 through 25. For the promise, that he should be the heir of the world, was not to Abraham, or to his seed, through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For if they which are of the law be heirs, faith is made void, and the promise made of none effect. Because the law worketh wrath, for where no law is, there is no transgression. Therefore it is of faith, that it might be by grace, to the end the promise might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but to that also which is of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations, before him whom he believed, even God, who quickeneth the dead, and calleth those things which be not as though they were. Who against hope believed in hope, that he might become the father of many nations, according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead, when he was about an hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. And being fully persuaded that, what he had promised, he was able also to perform. And therefore it was imputed to him for righteousness. Now it was not written for his sake alone, that it was imputed to him. But for us also, to whom it shall be imputed, if we believe on him that raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead. Who was delivered for our offences, and was raised again for our justification. Romans chapter 5 verses 1 through 5. Therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand, and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience, experience, and experience, hope, and hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. Psalms chapter 14. The fool hath said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt, they have done abominable works, there is none that doeth good. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men, to see if there were any that did understand, and seek God. They are all gone aside, they are altogether become filthy, there is none that doeth good, no, not one. Have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge? Who eat up my people as they eat bread, and call not upon the Lord? There were they in great fear, for God is in the generation of the righteous. Ye have shamed the counsel of the poor, because the Lord is his refuge. Oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion. When the Lord bringeth back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Proverbs chapter 19 verse 17. 
He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord, and that which he hath given will he pay him again.